Now that the first 100 episodes of Daily Magic for Peace are out in the world, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to focus on peace, to center in peace. This work we are doing is sacred, profound, and so very needed. This month, we will be revisiting some of our most popular episodes. I'm Colleen Thomas. Welcome to the best of Daily Magic for Peace. Today we will visualize a free Ukraine. Welcome to the circle. So all that you need today, if it's convenient, is a map and a piece of paper. And the map can be an online map, it can be Google Maps, uh, whatever is convenient for you. So to begin, I welcome you to take a breath and slow down. So what I'd love to begin to do with you today is to work on the bubble space clearing out, cleaning out that bubble space around you. And the first step in that process is just to sit quietly or quiet your body and notice the space around you. So imagine and feel and see the energetic space around you and notice what it feels like right now. And notice where the boundaries of it are right now. And see if you'd like to make it into a nice oval or spherical space that is full of your energy and only your energy. See if you can move out anything else, anything you might not want out of that space and just fill it with you. Fill it with your heart, fill it with your desire, fill it with yourself. And make sure that the boundary around the edge of that space is very defined So it's very clear where your energy ends and the world energy begins. You might imagine any kind of protection around it that you like. You might imagine a picket fence or a rose garden or anything that feels to you like it's going to define your space. And it's fine if it's something silly, as long as it works for you energetically to know that this is the boundary. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone but you. So finding that, setting that up. And when you have that, I invite you to take another breath. And when you're ready, I invite you to open your map and grab your paper. You'll need a pen or a pencil. If you don't have a map, you can just imagine the region of Ukraine. And what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is just draw Ukraine. And it doesn't matter how pretty it is. This is just something we're using for ourselves. Nobody has to see this. So I'm going to do this with you. And I've actually never drawn Ukraine, so this is going to be interesting. So, you know, it's right above north of the Black Sea. And I just invite you to go ahead and either visualize Ukraine in your mind very clearly as if you were looking at a map, or else go ahead and just draw it. And take your time and notice these boundaries, these land borders with the countries right next to Ukraine. You might think of what you've heard in the news about the relationships with these different countries. You might think of stories you've heard of various things happening in various regions. If you have a map or you have a knowledge of 
some of the cities, the major cities. You can draw those in. You can draw the Dnieper River. Just drawing, and as you're drawing, just really allow yourself to connect with this image. Allow this to become uh, like a living version of Ukraine to you while we work, because this is our symbol today. This is our symbol of this area that is going through so much right now. Ukraine. And as you finish your drawing, I invite you to just hold it for a moment and look at it and be very kind to yourself if it doesn't really look like Ukraine at all. My mind does not look like Ukraine. I know I need some practice in drawing Ukraine. But I'd like you to notice the boundaries of the country, the borders of the country. See it having integrity and wholeness and freedom. See any parts of its borders that are nearer to hostile forces. See those with enhanced support, enhanced defenses. If there are any areas of the country where your heart is drawn to because you've heard recent stories, you can send some love specifically to those places within the country. And imagine all of the people living in this country. So many, many people and so many, many people who have left and so many, many people connected to the diaspora of Ukraine. This is the homeland for so many people and it has such a deep and rich and hard history. Just honoring all of that while you look at this drawing And I invite you to connect with whatever you're feeling in your heart right now. You can allow that energy to flow out of your heart and down your arms, into your hands, and into the paper. You can let that energy flow out your eyes and into this drawing as you look at it. And maybe today after we finish this session, after this podcast is completed, you might want to color in this drawing or put some sequins or something fancy on it. Maybe put it in a place of honor, wishing the very, very, very best for everyone living in these borders and everyone who is longing to return to them in peace. May it be so. Thank you so much for being with us today. Your presence, your energy, and your heart make all the difference in healing our world. Remember to breathe today. Breathe and expand. And I hope you join us again next time. Please consider inviting a friend. Daily Magic for Peace is produced by the Shame Piñata team. Our music is by Terry Hughes. I'm Colleen Thomas. Thanks for listening.